Hello. Today I want to teach to you to talk about my favorite passage in the Bible right now. And that's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it goes like this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. What I want to talk about today is go in depth with this verse a little more. And what I want to do is uh, talk about the first passage, and that's trusting God. You know, trusting in who He is. Trusting in His life for you. And uh, so trusting God. First off, do you believe in God? Do you believe that there exists a God? You know, do you believe that God wants the best for you? You know, those, those are decisions that you have to make in trusting God. I mean, do you believe in Him? And do you believe that He is good? Do you believe that He wants the best for you? You know, these are some issues that people have. But the second part, the whole verse of that, you know, part A of verse 5 is trusting the Lord with all your heart. You know, do you love Him with your heart? Not just your mind and maybe your actions. I go to church once a week. I I pray. I read the Bible sometimes once a week. You know, do you trust in Him? Do you trust that He has your salvation in hand? You know, there is a big issue. Is do you trust? You know that He's there and that He wants the best for you, and then we can seek Him out. You know, the heart. The heart is everything. You know, it's the fiber of... Physically, it's the fiber of who we are. I mean, it pumps blood to every fiber of our being, physically. And it's spiritually, it's the source. You know, Jesus talked about the heart and what overflows from the heart. Or what comes out of the mouth is from the heart. So what's in your heart... You know, do you, do you tr honestly trust him with your heart, seeking, seeking him? And that's a big one I want to emphasize later, but, you know, so the heart, you know, it's amazing part of us spiritually. You know, it, it just brings out everything. You know, it's who we are. I, I can't say what I'm trying to think, but I'll move on. Um, lean on your own understanding. That's the next passage. Lean on your own understanding. So, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So, with this passage, you know, it's taking focus off ourselves and putting it on God for our life. Do you trust God in your life? No matter what kind of Things are happening in your life. You know, another cool thing is, well, what we should really realize is he's the creator. We're part of his creation. He loves us. He died for us. You know, what he did for his creation. We should trust in that. And even though things aren't going your way, or you think you're bad right now, wait till later. Because God has the best for you. Even if it's not until heaven, he has the best for you. You know, another issue is we can't trust our thoughts all the time. <clears throat> you know, it's like, oh, we go about days <clears throat> and when we have relationships with other people, they affect us day to day. And one day, you could have a good friend and he could just snap on you. But you're like, what did I do? Well, maybe he had a bad day. But do you take it personal and say, well, what did I do? And you go home and stress about it? You know, that's what I'm going to little story I was going to college and this girl was I was talking to her but she wasn't talking to me she was silent she wasn't she wasn't talking and I left and I got upset and I got angry and I got stressed I didn't yell at her I didn't you know do anything bad but it's just like I went back stressed thinking what did I do to offend her you know because she wasn't talking to me so she might be angry at me but I found out later that she was going through Lent. And one of the things that she wanted to give up was speaking. She wanted to realize 
how she spoke, when she spoke, was it all just, you know, she wanted to think about what she said for sorts appropriate, so it's encouraging. And this is one misunderstanding of life. You know, we think we have all decisions. We think we know what's best for us. But not all the time. I mean, we can mess up any time, you know? Oh, this is for the best. You know, this is for the best. I should do it. You know, but well, what does God say? And that's the part we're going to choose into next, or get, dig into next. The second part of, or the Proverbs 3, and, verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. You know, we need to acknowledge him. Acknowledge God as our life. He's our Savior. He's our personal Jesus. We need to acknowledge God, our creator, and the being of this world. Forever. We need to acknowledge him. You know, and I think that's one thing is we need to seek him out. We have so many choices that we do today. So many choices. I mean, you can go out, we can wake up, go to work, go to school. You're choosing what to eat, what to wear, <clears throat> you know, uh, how to act at times. You know, what you're going to do after school or after work. What's, what you're going to play, who you're going to hang out with. So many choices. It can all affect also your relationship with God, negative or positive. You know, uh, digging a little deeper with choices, I mean, do you seek God in all your big choices or your little or all? You know, oh, I'm going to seek God as in what does He want?